How you doing folks? This is Rex at the Buckeye Nest and this gentleman over here's name is Grayson Howard and he owns Grayson Upholstery Shop in Dayton, right Grayson? Gray's Auto Upholstery. Gray's Auto Upholstery, let me get that correct. And this is the beginning of the remake, remodel of the carriage out here at the Dayton VA that belongs to the Four Freedom Equestrian Team. And this lady down here with the camel coat on, you've all seen her many, many times. That's Leah. She's the founder of this organization. And Gray's Auto and Grayson here is going to uh, redo this carriage for us. So you'll be seeing me turn this camera on and off and on every now and then when he's out here doing his thing. And, and uh, you can follow along as we do a nice remodel job on this carriage thanks to Grayson here. Might just leave these four screws and go to the brackets. Okay, that's a piece later on. Uh, I can see hard part of it getting people to open up their uh, chrome department. Yeah. But no guy, I don't think you want to really open it. So I don't want to get sure. Yeah. <laughs> Used to be is really cool about that because they've uh, restructured their business model and throwing things in here and there costs too much for the chemicals and all that jazz. But the funny thing is, his wife is a professional uh, fundraiser, you know, philanthropy type of thing. So, him yeah. of all people should be sympathetic to a good cause. Right. So. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so those are the two pieces then for now. And, uh, you know, I was thinking, and here's just a thought, Leo. Instead of replacing this thing with carpet, why don't you, why don't we just put some nice tile there? Since... Tile will be way too slick. Is it? Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it a good wet step. And, okay. Um, need yeah, something to buy some kind of resistance. Um, yeah. When you come by, I'll show you what I have. And, uh, okay. Those, carpets that we could use and such, but they're all automotive. I do have a bright, bright water blue one that's meant for boats, but I don't think that's quite right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now, uh, but yeah, in the meantime, this will get this part done and go from there. Okay. Uh, eventually, I'd like to do something more than this. Yeah. If it works, but... It's, it's, uh, yeah, and it's, it's just down. With, the, with these tacks. Oh yeah, no, it's just something that looks a little nice. Have you got a piece? <laughs> yeah. Have you got a piece of th that type of material that'll match the seats? I'd have to get more. But oh. that's just you know that's the thing where it's just okay. What oh, yeah. point? Uh, this Saturday I'm seeing a friend who's a finished carpenter. I'm gonna hit him up about this wood part. It's just it's like right here in particular, this spot. It's had screws sunk through it before. It's still buckling back off of the, the main body over here. Uh, and it's, you know, it's pretty pronounced. It's been worked before, and all the way back to under here, so I mean, it's a total area. So, but if I can get him to come out and look at it sometime, then, you know, get that taken care of, because there's no use to doing all this. I mean, maybe we could just Fire some finish nails in or something and then use body filler and sculpt all this stuff. Yeah. You know, and just, if you want to keep it on the superficial, you could bang for the buck and look, you know, the, the, the part when it's done. Right. Uh, that body filler aspect might be the way to go. Yeah. You know, so, okay. this isn't a matter of resale, it's just sustaining, but, you know, right. just keep it going. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, but again, after, once any of the repair work's done, though, you're going to want to have uh, the paint done. Mm -hmm. So at that point, um, it's, what I put on. Right. I was thinking about that blue uh, idea for the seats and whatnot, and a very pale gray. Yeah. Would look really nice with it. So, um, but in the meantime, I'm going to put sprucing up. Front seat's done in one. This will complement this in the headliner for now. Um, that, that's, you know, it, it, that works. But I, I would look into taking care of this and then go from, going from there. Right. Um, so I'll ask my friend to see if he's interested in cooking and getting out here. And I'll assess it. And... Okay. Okay, gang, this is Rex, and this is part three 
and take a look at the job this gentleman did on this bench seat. Before, I wished I had a before picture. Maybe I, I can find one someplace. But he pleaded this thing. Attention to detail. Look right here. Mounting brackets he put on it for us. He got really creative with that. The backrest I showed you a, a minute ago. Well, it's mounted now. And he put buttons in it. Add a little accent to it. And what was really nice, that I thought was really nice, was these brass tacks he used on the back of the seat to enhance it and, and, and make it stand out. Now we need to get some more wood screws for this backrest, so uh, we need some shorter wood screws. Safety issue, he was concerned about this screw here uh, poking through the material and poking somebody in the back because it's just a little too long. So we need to get some one inch wood screws for that. And of course on the other side, he did the same thing over here. Attention to detail is critical. And he's got it. This really impressed me here. Because before we used to run four really long screws up through and into the corners of the seat to hold it down. But this does a better job. And then this is a view of the, the seat and the backrest from this side. And this is just part uh, the part one remodel, so to speak. Phase three, part one, whatever we want to call it. This is the, the step up here in the front. Eventually we're going to uh, replace this and put some new carpeting down here. And I've got some guys looking into uh, the electrical stuff for us and getting us some batteries and trickle chargers and getting the brakes realigned and getting some special bulbs for these lanterns and then uh, Grayson's looking into and there's no promises yet but he's looking into getting some uh, uh, estimate work done on the, the frame and stuff here uh, so we're sure that there's no stress points or anything can break down on us and then we're going to try and get some some new paint job done on the body and he's going to refinish this back here uh, so everything's coming along pretty good and it's going to look really nice and uh, well that's about all I can say right now. So until next time folks, this has been Rex at the Buckeye Nest and this has been Grayson Howard behind me here with Howard uh, Grayson Upholstery, Auto Upholstery and he's helping us with this carriage.